guy and dropping the Chromebook off at my high school and and some other various things like making faces and things I've caught on the camera and today we're going to talk about it. So we're going to talk about taking photos guy. What did the taking photos guy do? Um, what all happened? And so, as I was riding down um, the road in the estates, for those who know what the estates is, it's like this large neighborhood with, um, it's this large neighborhood with, um, with a bunch of houses, a bunch of large houses. And, um, it's, it, it's usually for people that have a little bit more higher income to live in those houses. And, um, and uh, so we, um, so I was riding down the road and I made a whole series of out for about two years. Two years of riding down through, um, riding down through the riding down and, and hourly rides surely something different well uh, and I, there were things that happened you know I had that little issue in signature with the road rage with the dirt bikes and ATVs people that flew past me once so then there were some other things that happened and various things well um, so here was something that I caught um, towards the end, around towards the end of the um, series is I was going down the road and in the bike lane and here come, and there are these uh, people that are standing by a, along a fence, as you guys saw, on a fence by the fountain of a pond and um, by the fountain of a pond and and um, I needed to get through. Now the thing is, the, there were these two photography people taking pictures that were standing on top of uh, standing on top of the uh, standing on top of the uh, on top of the um, standing on the uh, median. And um, when they were standing by where that meeting is, they did not see me. They're like, and you guys are going to hear, they said, oh, we got a ride by or something like that. Or like a bike riding by or something like that. Which, I mean, if they want to take photos of, up against the fence, they should find a better place to do it. Because, I mean, all around, it, all around the estates, there have these 
areas where you don't have to be standing in the road to take a picture behind the f in front of a fence in a pond. So that just was really not very smart. And so then as I go by, this guy says, we're taking, t taking photos. And then you guys couldn't hear it, but the lady who was taking the picture laughed. And, uh, and so I just gave a little beep beep and um, went on with my day. So I put it up on YouTube and it got some dislikes because I put road rage just to kind of see what's happening here. Anyway, so here's that. <laughs> As I was saying, I, I had talked about the cap and gown and stuff like that, but we're going to talk about delivering the Chromebook to the school. So here's what, so here's how it all went. My school's not far. My where we lived, it was about five minute drive to go down to the school, to my high school. And um, and so ever since the shutdown happened, I, so I'm a little bit, a little bit ticked off because. For whatever reason, this my recording thing on my MacBook is terrible. It, it just freezes for no reason. I do need to get a freaking camera because my GoPro down here, wherever it is, has been savaged. So I'm gonna need to get a new. I'm gonna have to get a camera so I can talk to you guys. And you guys can hear him and without all this interrupting. And yeah, just not a good not a good thing at all anyway so here is what happened um, here is what happened during when I also went down so went down to the school um, you know we had to get our cap and gown at this place not at the school obviously but at another place and then we had to go to um, then we had to go to the um, and then we had to go pick up our you know, we, and then we had graduation, and then it was time to turn in the Chromebooks. So that's what we did. We went to go turn in the Chromebooks because Chromebooks um, after graduation, we went to go turn in the Chromebooks, and um, went on my bike, rode down to the school, and um, here's what here's what here, here's what else. So after we rode down to the school, we had to go to the. Um, we had to go down to the. Um, we had to go down to the lunch, not lunch, but um, we had to go down to the school to go. So I went down to the school and pulled up. And um, as you as you guys are going to see, um, the security um, they had to escort me for whatever reason. I don't know why, don't know what what happened, but I'm pretty glad I didn't walk to this to the school because I mean that would have really sucked. But yeah, so they just had to escort because how it worked is you know you pulled up at the in your car and they come up to your car and they 
talk to you, what you need to do, and then you do it like that, like kind of like a drive-through kind of way. And me being on a bicycle without a kickstand didn't help the situation either, because for those who don't know, the kickstand broke, and um, the, my kickstand broke, and um, and so I didn't have it. I could not use my kickstand, so I pretty much had to hold it up while doing all this. So, so yeah, so it definitely came. So it definitely was interesting. And then, um, then after that, we, um, and then, then you know, and the security guard, um, is a classmate of mine who is in my, uh, who is in my power and transportation class named Charlie. And Charlie's dad, he's a pretty cool guy, and, and he was the one that had that 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 new Jeep Wrangler outside where they had the roundabout blocked off, and um, so that so, so that's who Charlie's dad is. For those who don't know, now I know I look like a little bit I like I was a fired up because I mean it's just kind of crazy that they had me do all this and yeah, it's certainly crazy. So it is what it is. Anyway, so then. Um, so then what happened was, is, um, is, you know, we had to let a couple cars go through, and you guys are going to see things like, and then you guys are going to see um, one of the PE teachers there. His name is Ross Benzel. He's a funny dude, and, you know, he was the one that was in that Ford Explorer-type truck. I forget the name. It's like, it's, it's not an F-150 or a Ranger. It's like this Ford Explorer truck where it has... It's a pickup truck, and so I, I don't know what it's called, but it's, but it's one of those little truck things to use. It's not a Ranger, but it's a uh, it's, it's like a Ford Explorer with the without the back on it, like a pickup truck style thing. Anyway, beyond that, um, beyond that, so we saw Ross, and um, we went up and around, and and yeah, as you see, he's like, oh, that's Ross. I'm like, yeah, of course that's Ross. You know. Not in high school anymore. I can call people by their first names. It's cool, and people call him Ross too. So, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. And fun fact: um, Ross's dad worked at my high school um, as a, a chemistry teacher. Yeah. So, um, so that's a little fun fact. Although Ross and people who know Ross probably aren't watching so yeah no problem anyway so after that we pulled up and uh, after that I pulled up and um, we pulled up to the um, we pulled up to the uh, to where they had another woman to where they had a woman standing there with a walkie-talkie and she told me to go up and around and as you saw, I had to stop because there was the Silverado that was backing up and needed to go around the cars. So I didn't want to get backed into one accidentally because I can't reverse. Anyway, so then what happened was I pulled back, I pulled behind the car, waiting there. Maybe they're doing like a drive-through way, like maybe they're letting car, but 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 anyway, and and they were just sitting there. So so I thought, oh, I oh maybe I had to wait or something in the line or something. And uh, so, so the lady went signaling me around, told me to go up there, and that's all that happened. And I pulled up, and there's these two old dudes, <laughs> and they had a paper fly underneath my bike. And he's like, can you get that piece of paper, please? I'm like, yep. So I give it back to him, and then we, we put the Chromebook up there. Then there's some kid that walks up behind me, and he's like, and the guy's like, wait! wait or something like that like he was not very polite about it you know and then it goes like okay yeah so so yeah so after we got all that it's hard to hear because um because i had the music on which i regret because you guys would have heard more like more conversations but hey it's whatever it's whatever anyway Anyway, so then after that, they, um, after that, I rode off when we rode away, and so how are we going back home? Huh? <laughs> 
to drop off the combo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what time is your get you back there. I'm going to hold up this car for a second and then you can go back. Go ahead and uh, you're going right to the front doors. Okay. And then let's go and get this Chromebook turned in. Hmm. I wonder how well it's going to go. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to go turn the Chromebook in and I will guess we will, uh, see what's going to happen. What's this? There's people up there stopping cars? Uh-oh. Yeah.
anyway, anyway, so, um, anyway, so then after that, we went, rode up to, uh, so, uh, so then after that, we're going to talk about the, uh, staring, or, right, staring, yeah, staring, so, I believe this was a bit after the shutdown, and, um, I was out riding my bike this one night in the estates, obviously. And uh, there was some weird occurrences because the thing is, my bike is very eye-catching. It's not your typical bicycle. Basically, I put on some like modifications and things like that, add-ons, and it did catch people's attention, especially with having the mirrors on the sides. Hang on, and you know, people would stare and would, you know focus their attention on to see what exactly it is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, having the two mirrors on the side and having, you know, the, the, the music blasting, it would surely, uh, surely catch your attention. But unfortunately, it wouldn't catch people's attention well enough because as, as you can see throughout the series, there'd be people that would always cut in front of me. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but that, but just because you have a nice, attractive looking vehicle does not mean you're not going to have idiots. It's true. So, you know, but I wouldn't call it that good, but it is. And I still ride it today as I rode like a few weeks ago out, just out, about. It's not really accommodating for this type of for the terrain. But but, but for the estate's terrain, it worked. Anyway, so then after that is, um, so after we went up to, um, after we went to, after I r rode around, and there were some people who would look and would even have some weird faces, like, like, at, like so there was this guy who was walking his German ship in the bike lane, okay? I get over so he can walk his dog. And, uh, and I get over so he can walk his dog and then get, and I get back over, right? Well, as I'm doing that, I look at the guy and I'm thinking he's smiling at me. Like he gives like this smile, like, like this smile at me. And I'm like, is he smiling at me or what is he doing? And uh, he's like, you know, like giving that kind of face. And I'm like, what the? And I thought he was smiling at me, so I so I reviewed the footage, and uh, as you can see, his face was like, like that kind of face. I I don't know. But uh, but yeah, kind of weird. And then uh, and then like not even long after that, there was a guy on a bike going the opposite on the wrong way of a bike lane because you're supposed to go with traffic, not against traffic because thing is that there's traffic right next to me and and I have to get over because they ain't gonna stop what am I gonna do and as you guys saw, saw throughout the series it did happen there were these close calls I've had anyway so this guy so this guy you know passes me and I'm slowing down really slow so we don't so we don't accidentally hit each other and uh, and, and, and the guy just looks over at me like, like he, you know, like he was like, like, I'm like, dude, you're the, dude, I mean, he could be, he could be one of those drunk fishermen, because as you saw, he had a fishing pole, which, which, thankfully, it was not going to hit me or anything, because that could have been bad. Anyway, yeah, and so and so those are kind of those are kind of the faces that I would usually get, and I mean like, it's and like it's just so funny how I put like what's with the face man, uh, because I went what's with the face man, <laughs> and I always went like what's with the face man, and it was so funny, so funny, and I sent it to one of my friends. Um, Anisha, and um, and what happened was she's like, "What? 
like, well, I, well, there was a picture that I, that I sent you. <laughs> and by the way, uh, my Nasha is going to be having a baby in like four months, so, um, so you guys might see a little video on that, um, depending on what Anasia provides. But yeah, um, Anasia was a, a high school friend, and um, you know there's a little bit of history behind Anasia. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna talk about it because we're off topic. Anyway, so yeah, so, so yeah, so those kind of faces I usually get. You know, I just make a joke at them. So if you not have seen the Estate series, then go ahead and check it out. Just go ahead and look up Viking Blog, whatever. You'll be able to find it various things and um and yeah so make sure you guys like it guys comment you guys subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video but wait 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 um so as you guys can see with the outro that um andrew and nick are coming down and by the time they see this video they will already be on the flight and be headed on down to here. And uh, you guys are gonna see some content. And um, yeah, so make sure you guys like, you guys comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Stay tuned. See ya. <laughs>